Well, hello and welcome to a Sunday live stream. Um, I'm the Gareth Major, and um, welcome back to the port. So, as always, at the start of the stream, I have got to do the usual YouTube stuff in the background of getting the thumbnail and all the other stuff sorted. So, while that's happening, please bear with and enjoy the music and enjoy HMS Devonshire. Just got to sort some things out in the background, but I'll be right with you for the f first and, well, I wouldn't say only stream of this patch, but uh, very much could be, considering we've only got a two week patch. I think that's most of the stuff. But yeah, I'll be with you in the chat very shortly. Um, if any of you missed it, last week there was giveaway codes in the stream. Those codes are only available until the 31st of January. Uh, all the codes I believe weren't claimed are in a pinned comment at the end of the stream, or uh, down in the comment section of the stream, I should say. So um, feel free to go have a look at those if, you're, uh, if you missed last week's stream. Just got to get the name of the game into the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise it will automatically tag it as playing on the PC version of the game, which um, obviously attracts a different audience, I guess you could say. Right, that is all the lovely, jovely YouTube stuff all sourced out in the background. So I'll be jumping into the chat and uh, hope you've all had a good weekend. Hope you've all had a good week. And uh, yeah, obviously, feel free to shout out any requests, any ships you want to see played this live stream. Hello, Action Pumper. Hello, Mecha Man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Let's get the chat popped out. Let's close that window down. And I think we're good to go. Um, no, I have been playing my AA Devonshire uh, just before the stream uh, for the uh, purpose of just getting a couple of practice games in because I haven't really played the game. Um, let's be honest, the, this patch is a, is a two-week null and void patch in some regards. It's obviously there to, to align the, the calendar with Wargaming's annual holidays and things like that, but it kind of does mean the end of this null and void patch. There's not really much to do. Um, there is Brawl, but Brawl is varying levels of fun, I guess you could say. Uh, it's fun for some and it's not fun for others. Personally, I'm not too much interested in it because I find that if you play Brawl, it completely throws your gameplay into whack when it comes to actually playing standard, and you'll completely forget what you're actually doing because of all these different variables on the ships. So I find if you if you're going to sit down for an evening, pick standard or Brawl. Don't try and jump between the two modes because you'll set yourself up for a fall. Uh, it was financially rough week as I had to replace my motherboard and case fans for my PC build. Ooh, ooh. Yes, very, very financially heavy week. <laughs> oh, I hope that hopefully it all works and, and uh, it'll all be sorted. I myself am still putting off replacing the laptop until um, post honeymoon. Although, um, I'm, I'm seeing if I can persuade the wife uh, that after the honeymoon, uh, we get, not on top of it, replacing the PC, perhaps get a PS5 as well. Um, there's a new Harry Potter game out, and uh, she loves Harry Potter, so I'm using that as uh, as my bribery. Um, fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, no, nothing's set in stone at the moment. I'm just noticing the hood on this HMS Hood hoodie is uh, catching with the green screen. So if I just fold it in, there's always the joys of hoodies. There we go. Jeff Dave, hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Uh, at least it uh, wasn't replacing the GPU. Yeah, and no, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, with my laptop, I fried the BIOS. I think. Whatever I did, I bricked it. Oh, 
enemy torpedo aircraft. Well, we are in HMS Ajax, or I guess you could say, which does have the uh, American refit uh, anti-aircraft. However, the carrier is not too interested in us. It is a visor, though. That is quite scary. Visor, Nagato, New Mexico, Bayern, Pensacola, Dallas, Graf, Spey, Shashio, and a Mahan. Okay, okay, that's the shipping forecast done. Who's that spot in the centre? The Shashio. Oof, yeah. <laughs> Big oof when the laptop died like that. And it died just uh, literally, I want to say, like a week or two after we had uh, financially committed to, yeah, we're, we're going to do our honeymoon. Uh, fi finally, uh, uh, four years after being married, <laughs> find, finally um, in a position where there's no COVID and we can get married. <laughs> well, not get married, go on a honeymoon. Because we, we went on a mini moon um, in the UK, did a staycation, but um, we never, we were like, we decided to buy a house after getting married rather than go for a honeymoon. So we did a mini moon and said we'll always do a, a honeymoon, a proper honeymoon, uh, when when the time was right. And then COVID hit and it basically locks everything down for three years. Um, yeah, goody. Or two, uh, two years. Because we did initially book a, a, a honeymoon cruise, I guess you could say, in 2020. Anyway, that's enough about me. How 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 is everyone? And you're you're doing well. All had a good weekend, I hope. Whether that be shipping or uh, or something else. Well, those aircraft are potentially coming in again. I've got zero spotting potential on this flank. I haven't got the carrier. I haven't got any destroyers. It's kind of irritating. Because I'm having to play an open water Leander, which is a very quick way to die. Gajmada killed the Shashio, that's a good shout. Okay, AP shells from the Graf Spey coming in. Swishing our tail around that quite nicely. Kind of surprised, but considering the range, maybe it's not too much of a feat to be unexpected. Uh, we should clear the island, okay. Hopefully the the well. But it's, if someone could be kind enough just to confirm the audio is coming through all nice, loud and clear, I'm sure it is. <laughs> but there's always that seed of doubt in the back of my mind. We've done it before. Dallas kiting off. Ah, much much blood, Jeff. Much blood. Uh, you may have seen this in the PlayStation group. I scored an eight kills with Ark Roar and still lost. I think I do recall um, browsing that. I haven't browsed the chat for a little while. Audio's good. Much obliged. Much obliged, gents. Ooh, this is not where I want to be. Any chance we can just smoke up a little bit and uh, survive a bit longer? What's that? Bravo turret. Okay. Bravo turret's out of action. There's the Bayern that was eyeing us up. Let's see if we can get some work in on that. Sean, hello, hello! I'll have to read the rest of that comment in a second. Uh, say to the wife, just booked another mini cruise. It's going on the on the Belfast, uh, so it's more of a float than a cruise. <laughs> uh. Why well, you never well? Yeah, it is. A, well, you could always get a you could always get a uh, a Thames River cruise uh, up to the Belfast, maybe. I think there's a pier that does um, river boat cruises a bit a bit uh, up the river from the Belfast. So you kind of tie into it. You pretend it's a cruise. I'm thinking I might have to vacate this flank shortly. Because we're coming under a lot of pressure. Be 
nice to kill a battleship or, or something. versus Graf Spey. Don't like my chances against those 11 inch guns. I know it's historically accurate engagement, but it's not one that I uh, look forward to, I'm gonna be honest. Considering what Graf Spey did to the Exeter in, the, in real life. Yeah, I'm the only one left in this flank. I gotta kite away from the grass spate and draw this out for as long as I can. Oh uh, yeah, I need range between me and the grass spate so I can rely on his paw. Oh, I'm doing a bit of a risky move here. I'm going in. Try and circumvent that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, hello, Eternal Abyss. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, and then it was Eternal, I should say. Free for a division? Fair enough. I'll see if I can uh, fold you in. Congrats on the house and the home. Oh, bank action pumper. Oh, the, the house. I'm trying to remember how long we've been living here. I think we've been living here since 20. Yeah, we've got the house in 2019. Sean, you can always go and see the clowns at the circus too while in London. Oh, I mean the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> <Sean>. <laughs> That's a, bit, that's a bit close to the bone, sir. <laughs> well, I know what you mean. <laughs> I do like the circus. <laughs> Ooh, 11 inch guns, they do hurt. Thank God there's only nine of them. I don't think this is fair a uh, six inch cruiser versus a coastal battleship. Because officially, that is what the grass spray was supposed to replace. Oh, look at that German dispersion. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, there we go. He's fired again. Let's hope for the best traps. Ooh, painful. Kind of what I'm hoping is maybe using volume of fire. I can fire twice as often. We have almost well more guns at the moment. Just gotta try and get it to thread the needle. Well I think we're going in champs. 
Once more into the breach. It's a risky play. I mean, this might hurt. Oh, no, no, they're back up and running. That's not good. I was hoping maybe I could catch a turret out. <laughs> oh. I kind of had to take it to him because he wasn't making any mistakes uh, while I was kiting away. Um, but yeah. I had to, had to push, force the issue in that case, and uh, thankfully came out on top, uh, although only with a sliver of HP, and the, if the enemy aircraft carrier comes for me, um, this is going to be a very quick death, but I'm going to quickly catch up with the chat while we're, we're floating around, I guess you could say. Um, Mega Man, Sean, uh, that's a good one. Um, if you're feeling brave enough, you can go see the circus, and that is uh, Congress as well. Ah, Jank Economics, hello, hello, howdy. All the way from uh, across the pond. Good to see, sir. Ah. I played Brawl Major. Honestly, first Brawl I've ever enjoyed. The first time you, you can ever use Dunkirk, so yeah. It, it, the brawl is literally just uh, devolved into um, how many Dunkirks uh, can you get with 1.5 second reloads. Uh, uh, the carry is playing quite risky. Uh, as if, hello, hello. Randy Chang as well, good, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. I thought Congress uh, in the States was a, a retirement home for old politicians. Uh. Yeah, this is, this is quite a weird game. The carrier feels kind of close, though. Judging by that RDF indicator, the carrier has pushed up. So there might be an opportunity here to capture A and then put the nail in the in the carrier. Hmm, actually there's only 56 seconds left. I've come to thinking far too ahead. Alright, well, at least if we can stop the, the point accruement here. Should be fine. It looks like the carrier might harass me. I'll probably drop a smoke screen. Oh, that carrier must be close. If uh, hmm. hello. <laughs> uh, it's only twenty seconds. Uh, there was never going to be enough time. Uh, it can be a circus as well. I once sat in a session back in 2005. Hmm. That's interesting. Right, that's the Leander. Turn the bit is uh, up for a up for a join in with the science support division. And uh, I haven't seen any ships shouted out in the chat. Um, but uh, if anyone has any anything they want to see, uh, feel free to shout out. Obviously, we do have the. Um, I want to say Rochester. I probably pronounced that wrong. I meant to look it up. There we go. Um, we're done, Leander. Um, 
what else do I fancy play? I have got Daring now, so I can finally play Daring again, which is tempting. Ostergotland. Uh, I, I don't see Ostergotland in my. <laughs> Is it one of those ships that flies the that flies a different flag? Oh damn! <laughs> uh, where is that? Don't think. Russia, Scotland. God, I haven't played that in a while. Um, I can't remember anything about it. Uh, so we're just gonna go with it, I think. Um, speed. I, I think we went for speed. It looks like. Okay, let's let's give it a dabble. Why not? Rochester. <laughs> Rochester. Uh, channel not monetized, Major? By choice, sir. By choice. I I do not enjoy watching adverts, and so I decided. Well, why should I make other people suffer? Um, so yeah, I, this is a non-monetized channel. I I do not I don't tick that monetized button. I don't put adverts in. I don't take sponsorships. This is why this channel is very much a hobby uh, for me because I'm not financially committed to it. I guess you could say. Um, if um, if I want to take a take a week off, I I, I can. Um, I don't have to worry about money for it, um, which is. I guess, I guess it's a position that obviously not everyone can make if they decide to do YouTube and things like that. But um, yeah, I take I take the position. I'm here to play and have fun um, uh, and um, do and interact with the community. I guess you could say. Um, at the end of the day, as a CC, I get more than enough non-financial support from wargaming that I feel that. Adding monetization on top of that isn't exactly justifiable. Like, yeah, I know my laptop's bricked in. I could probably, probably do a replacing the laptop, but at the end of the day, um, it's a laptop that's for me, um, and I'm going to do more with it than just World of Warships Legends or YouTube. So, in some regards, um, yeah, maybe it would be nice, but at the end of the day, it's 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 my my own choice. At this, I guess you could say. I just saw a uh, sort of sex in the chat. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Sean, a session in the UK uh, is having a good beer, uh, drinking a ma uh, amount. I'd rather have one of them. Oh yeah, a good session. <laughs> Although personally, I, I'm not much of a beer fan. Um, I'm one of those people who goes, well, if I'm gonna go for a drink, I want to get to the point. <laughs> So I usually go for something a bit stronger than beer, um, most of the times. Um, like at home, I quite happily enjoy a, uh, a scotch or a brandy uh, or a rum, dark rum, nice navel rum. Uh, and if I'm going out, uh, I'll have a wine. Uh, I do like a wine. Or oh, depending on the establishment, um, maybe I might get... A, okay, I will get certain beers if they're hard to come by as well. Um, like... Uh, as a as a place in, uh, nearby, um, a uh, I want to say East Asian style food place, um, and they used to have Sapporo, which is a Japanese beer, uh, which was actually really quite nice. Um, so yeah, if it's a difficult to come by uh, beer and things like that, I'll have it. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I love wine, sake, things like that. Kid Mike, it's given hello, hello. Reason my answer. I don't know. I've got YouTube premium, so don't see ads anyway. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Let's chuck some torpedoes out, I guess. Um, I can't lay a smoke screen. You, you, you're in a non-radar cruiser. Okay. Spotted. What do I see? What do I see? Where do I see it? Uh, why is my brain hurting? There's my. There it is. <laughs> oh. There's something mean in that smoke screen. Probably a minute. I haven't done the shipping forecast, and that's going to be my fault.
Allí. That's a Plymouth. Okay. That's fine. Jank started out as more experiment uh, for me, uh, but I ended up getting the 1,000 subs after nine months, so I figured, heck, why not? Yeah, no, that's, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. Let's go for the cap. I could really do with that health, but um, there's not much I can do about that. Yes, I burnt him out. Okay. All aboard the eternal abyss. Yeah, no, in, so, in some regards, going for the monetizations is perfectly fine at the end of the day. I mean, YouTube reserves the right to put adverts on any video it so wishes. So, even though I've taken the uh, said decision to not have adverts, it doesn't mean YouTube won't put adverts on there, unfortunately. And that then leads you to that almost like position where if YouTube decides it's going to put adverts on videos in which uh, the people aren't getting monetized, it kind of. I think when it when that happens, I'll probably then put half find myself in a position where if YouTube's going to do it anyway, I'd rather take control of it and probably minimize it as much as possible as far as a content creator can, um, rather than have YouTube just do it and milk it to the max. I think when that becomes the position, that will probably be when I have, when I feel almost forced into making that decision. Jeff Dave, I'm doing dry January, only nine days to go. Oh, fair enough, sir, fair enough. I I haven't. <laughs> I uh, I had some. Um, I had uh, two 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 glasses of sake last night. Um, oh wow. By, by glasses, I'm referring to the the measurement for a one cup sake, which is 180 mil. So I had um, a, a two two sizes of that of a sake, which was quite nice. One was a, a rather cheap sake, um, which uh, yeah, obviously you could tell. Um, and then the the other one was a nice premium sake, which uh, yeah was a, was a lot nicer, a lot more enjoyable. So boy, good evening, good evening, Nariko. Hello, even if YouTube put ads on your vids, I have ad blocker. Also, even the monetized channels don't get money from me, uh, but well, uh, thank YouTube for uh, for the non-stop ads. Oh yeah, no, the amount of advertising on YouTube does drive me potty. Um, that's why I personally also do run a ad blocker. Uh, I would recommend running an ad blocker. Uh, just bear in mind in the future, I believe that Google Chrome, uh, it, uh, well Google, is going to uh, ban block ad blockers um, uh, obviously so then they can start making money more from ads um, when that happens bear in mind that will also impact any internet provider which uses Google Chrome as a basis so that means Google Chrome uh, Microsoft Edge um, and all the other very ones that almost feel like they're Chrome I probably got Chrome as the base code, and that means that um, sometime this year, any Chrome, any Chrome-based uh, Internet Explorer will not be able to run an ad blocker. So the recommendation there is you move to Firefox and then use an ad blocker, because uh, Firefox is an independent uh, internet browser separate from Google. I am a load low on the table, but we'll um, we'll take the. Now I'm going to take the daring out. Now we're going to play a real destroyer. Uh, when we get there, where is it? Come on, come on, come on. For some reason, I thought the Ostergotland was tier 8. Uh, fine. Veen. Uh, let's put some modules on this. Let's just do aiming systems. 
I think when carries become more of a more of an issue, uh, then we will be probably running the anti-aircraft mode. That was kind of half tempted. Let's get that ready. I assume internals ready. I can't see what he's got, so we're just gonna have to wing it and see if it works. Oh. He uses Google Chrome. I use uh, Firefox because uh, CPU issues. Yeah, no. Nah. I think a lot more people will be using uh, Firefox in the future. Uh, Randy, streaming for a living feels like a strange proposition, like setting up your own real show. Yeah. <laughs> It very much is, very much is. But really, if you want to do streaming as a living, you generally want to, you have to slowly get into it, I guess you could say, and slowly build up your fan base and, and almost find your feet, I guess you could say. Oh, Narco, what's up? What's up, sir? My cluster headache is coming again more, more and more. Ooh, migraines. We're only trying uh, reality show and audience participation. Yeah, you see that a lot though. Like with with YouTubers um, who have made um, uh, YouTuber a living. Um, to, to obviously, we we all watch some, but they do like they all have their own things they do, and it's a very diverse. You have to keep a very high diversity of videos. You also have to, at times, say, say your gaming um, channel as well. You really have to ride the wave with the new releases and the new, uh, the new games and things like that. And so that's why sometimes I feel like if you follow too many YouTubers, it almost feels like every now and then they're all doing the same thing because they're all riding the same wave. Um, I'm going to become a an addition on the bow of name of those turtle. There we go. Ref referee, referee. What is he in? He's in the Yoshino. Yeah, yeah, ship out played. Let's see. You go uh, Yugamo, Z46, Shimakaze, Kaber, Mino, Alaska, Marco Polo, Republic, Montana. Well, the Mongol doors having a little booping around. Alaska! Oh, Mongol doors been spotted. As at forty six. Oh, I feel like I made the wrong decision there. I should have just kept reversing. That's, uh, yeah, made the wrong decision. Oh, I made a really bad decision. <laughs> I'd like to repent for my sins, please. Bad decisions there. Ooh, got away with it, yeah, very, very true. <laughs> Although I wouldn't want to put that on my CV. <laughs> oh, oh. oh Crip, hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Very daring, no camo daring. Shh, deliberate. 
<laughs> it's not that I totally forgot. <laughs> This is very daring. It's all adding up though when it comes to damage the AP. It's quite quite cheeky really. Lask has now turned on his radar when no one can see me. So well no one can actually draw a line of sight to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. I'm going to end up oversaturating his uh, superstructure onto it at some point. <laughs> Let me just uh, get some torpedoes loosed. Sickmaster, no, no, AP on the Daring is pretty good. Yes, the AP is oh, exceptionally good. Puts the glass down and starts moving. <laughs> this is why they don't have cup holders on the Bridge of Royal Navy Destroyers. Doing a bit of a weird move up here, I think. I'm just hoping I can maybe catch one last fire on the last get before he gets out of range. Come on. Right on the uh right on the edge of my range. Oh good lord. It's three ships and no HP. Let's see if I can catch with the chat. Mm, nothing will stop me from my coffee or my whiskey now, okay? <laughs> uh. Jank, when I uh, gotta get uh, just uh, got out of work, I'll throw a sub on my uh, on my. Oh, much obliged, much obliged there. Missing playing with you. I've been months now. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, it has been a while. Oh.
Nah. He's really tucked it in. <laughs> oh, well. Right. Although, uh, I don't know what's He's got some reasonable amount of HP back. This is uh, going to be intriguing. Because this is basically the Azuma uh, as I would have designed it, uh, rather than the Azuma that we have at Tier 7. Must be something nasty. To be honest, we just need to stay alive for. Uh, okay, interesting. God, the turret reverse is slow, but that's because they are 12 inch guns. Clebeck. Nasty, nasty way to go. Right, let's see if I catch up. Uh, my must have been just. <sighs> Just been taking it easy. I'm not pushing too hard to the channel because obviously with the laptop being broken. But yeah, I hope you'll hope you're feeling better soon. Anyway, ice fishing isn't it easier to get ice from the freezer for drinks. <laughs> uh, what we'll do, we might as well just see this through to the end. Is there any interesting ships that we can jump aboard? We've got Shimakaze, Des Moines, Hayate, a buffalo. A buffalo. Let's have a look at a buffalo. Hmm. Kind of just looks like a bigger boatable. Let's have a look at the aggressor. Oh, aggressor curve first. Oh, nothing special. Oh. We've. 15 points remaining and a, and a wall of torpedoes I mean wall of skill Sorry, closing in there we go how's your wife major oh she's she's fine she's fine um where um well as, as some of you may know um obviously we're going for IVF we had our first round of IVF in uh, July, August, uh, it wasn't successful. Ended up with a chemical pregnancy, but we're we're into the well, we're about the second round. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna go. We'll see how things go, but yeah, fing fingers crossed for the second round at least. Um, what do I want to play? We done a cruiser, we done a destroyer, we done a destroyer. It'd be nice to do a battleship, but something a bit different maybe. Oh, we got battleship wise, which is interesting or different. Um, actually, mm, Ashen Core could be tempting. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's do Ashen Core. I haven't played Ashen Core for a while, and the and, and the British government's still strong. <laughs> Last time I checked in, we still had the same Prime Minister. <laughs> no more politics, gentlemen. No more politics. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, oh, it's, it's quite... Uh, well, yeah, no, let's, let's, let's keep this, keep world politics out of this. Otherwise, I could I could go off on a on a bit of a tangent, I guess you could say. Capture the base on straight. Let's see what we got ourselves into. Eisenslav, do great Truin, guys. Tell I don't play this too often. Danae, Zuchi, Colbert, Wyoming, Conic, Nevada, Langley. At least there's a carry in the game for uh, my my commander to walk out on deck and shout violent words at in order to try and deter them. That's a lot of battleships as well. I'm just drinking my coffee and enjoying it uh, here on my winter balcony. Oh, very nice, very nice. Must be dark. <laughs> Hope you're wrapped up warm. Uh, something, something, Tory Benches, something, something. 
Uh, I see there are plenty of new players. Yeah, no, it's, it's interesting to see the player base has picked up um, quite a few new players, but at, at the same time, uh, player base numbers seem to be stable, judging by the participation of recent is it arena and brawl. Actually, we haven't even got the brawl stats out yet, yet have we? Yes, I have blankets wrapped around me, and like a worm. <laughs> uh, that must be nice. All that hate G for only two hits. Ooh, spotted. Oh, Eternal's playing the Agincourt as well. Oh, okay. I think we I think someone's been disconnected. Oh no. <laughs> That's not fair. I think the Phoenix is going for a torpedo run. Ah. <laughs> Bleeding typical. Hmm, double fire. Oh, the secondaries have opened up. I'm noting that there's a lot of pressure being applied by the enemy on this flank. One of those weird situations where you're never quite sure who to actually shoot.
It's a very strange game. Look man, I've noticed that new players tend to come in usually around winter and sometimes the summer. Okay, also Major, are you gonna play Hogwarts Ministry or Jedi Survivor? I don't intend to play either of those, but there's a chance that the wife may acquire. Um, no, I'm not going to uh, finish that. That's a bit mean. Um, I was about to say, maybe I should turn my secondaries off. My best intentions were... Well, I was able to see us through. Um, Pedal to the metal and push through the middle. Well, not through the middle, but up through. I'm agreeing with any ideas on rumours of secret information going around what we can expect on Thursday. Uh, in the past two weeks, I saw many old and one brand new premium and tech tree ships with boop troops at the helm. Um, I think CCs have been privy to a very small amount of information. Uh, so, um, I can't read. Really but that information is not really that much. It's not really anything, any big news, I guess you could say, but it's not really anything we can comment on either, obviously, due to uh, the NDAs that we are subject to. So regards, I wish I maybe I'd put a, uh, a battle cruiser build on this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> still wait for Dido. Still waiting for Dido myself. Yeah, no. <laughs> that would be nice. What's the what's the new? Uh, Hmm, I guess it could be a Tetris ship, couldn't it? Okay, a little bit of a mess around in the uh, in the Asian core. Let's see. I've already done Devonshire, or else I probably would be playing Devonshire. Don't really like playing Arkwell. Not until she's been balanced, at least. Oh, we haven't played Tiger for a while. We haven't played Cossack 38 for a while, actually, either. So maybe we might mix around with those. Oh, maybe Italian D... Uh, Italian Tech Tree DDs would be quite nice. Yeah. I have a feeling that the Italian cruisers in the market but it will be touched. Uh, plenty of uh, super testers uh, were sailing around with them. Hmm, yeah. I think there's always going to be a bit of balancing on them anyway. Here's my list of ships I'd like to see. Enterprise, Fundra, Ohio, Slava. Oh, Griff, I'm surprised that there are no open testing at the moment. Mm. Jack, I had to say, but the only super testers I've run into lately were in Brawl. Oh, my hands are feeling a bit cold. I guess it is 14 degrees centigrade down here, actually. Right, what are we looking at shipping forecast wise? Benham, Friesland, Z23, Boise, Suzu, Baltimore, Shanghai, B, Bismarck, Massachusetts. Bismarck, Massachusetts, Friesland Division. Boise, Shanghai Division. Okay. Enterprise is the only ship left that I want 100%. I'd like to see a Royal Navy legendary tier carrier. That'd be interesting. What are you in? Ship Smasher. Hmm. 
just want Dido, give me Dido. I'd like to see the British Battle Cruisers, Repulse, Renown, um, especially some of the, the other, des the other um, designs. I would like to see them. Uh, Sean Horse in the division with a Boise, I believe. Yes. Textbooks 11, radar is 8.5. So I'm, I just want to try and get within a position where if I need to, I can contribute radar coverage to the entirety of the cap, which I'm not in a position to do at the moment. There's the Boise. There's the destroyer, and yeah, as you can see, he's uh, went out of my range. Oh. I think I've just remembered, unfortunately. That I've made a big mistake. Well, firstly, Definitely, yeah. Uh, I think the rust is definitely showing. I think I'm gonna have to make a bit more of an effort to bang off some of that rust and uh, play a bit more often. I think. the doorbell. Hopefully the wife will take that. <laughs> yeah, she's on her way. Good. <laughs> you got that one, darling? No worries. <laughs> Hopefully the music will drown everything out. <laughs> but yeah, Amazon parcel delivery. No, it's fine, it's fine. At least that repair party didn't feel so much as a waste like I did with the first one. Ok, 
Okay, switching targets to the Boise, which is basically a Helena with a super heal. Ooh, what's that getting, getting close? Sharn horse, ah, that's all right, it's only 11 inch guns. Although I think we will have to start dancing, I guess you say. Full speed would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Make sure the chat doesn't go to sleep. That's it. That's me referring to the laptop, not actually you chaps going to sleep. <laughs> oh, there goes the super heal on the uh, Boise. Quite a good, quite a cheeky trick. Chasing after this. Oh, Zoom is here all the way from the other side of the world. Good to see you, sir. I'm going to try and read the chat while doing this. On the other hand, I'm having fun with the Agil, um, despite it uh, not not being touched since released. Yeah, I have liked the Agil every now and then. It used to be a like a tier 5 destroy, I used to go play for premium supplies every now and then, just because it was something a bit different, I guess you could say. Hey, good morning, good morning. Yeah, Talon DDs are on the doorstep. Um, they've modified the skills already for the commanders, so they're ready for sap shells. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Candies of these are close. I feel if they already uh, match this, yeah, I only got the skills in the commanders. I do apologize for my accuracy here because I am looking at the chat while I'm catching up. What was that? What was that takeaway ringing the doorbell? Maybe, maybe the shouts put the man in. <laughs> Play the man in the blinks. <laughs> oh. oh, Ten thousand dubs, sir. All right. See what happens when my sex really drops in. Too sure where the enemy destroyer is. Unfortunately, Baltimore is not really going to be fun to engage. However, I can at least contest the cap. Just got to watch myself out for an Suzuki on the flank. Uh, this is risky positioning.
Well, thank God we found the gap. Come on, can we get the cat before his shells touch us? Nah. Let's open up. Maybe we can catch the zoo in a bit of a crossfire. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to lead the target enough. Oh well, not much more we can do. Uh, I feel on Legends Enterprise is going to have something else besides the Russians. No nation uh, came like uh, they are on PC. Yeah, that's, that's, I guess that's true. But then again, has any nation really come as they have on PC because of the lack of attack aircraft? Ah. British carriers do don't have uh, their slingshot mechanic. Uh, the Germans, um, not their famous uh, secondaries or AP rockets. The US carriers, not the HE bomb. Hell, Japan AP bombs. Yeah, no, a lot of these. Yeah, it's true. Oh, um, Griff, uh, guys, don't forget to pick up the free tier to the Samsung bundle in the Play Platform Store. And also, if you have app, uh, uh, is it Amazon Prime or something, something along those lines, I think you can also get the Vampire. Jack, got a bounce for now. Uh, I won't be a stranger. Later, everyone, no. much obliged, and have a good week, Jack. Major, I'm still waiting for. I'll still wait for rockets. Yeah, I'd be. I, it's, it, I think the problem. I think the reason why they're probably hesitant with rockets so far over here is just because their implementation over on PC hasn't had the the smoothest uh, ride. I guess you could say. I don't think we're going to win this one, so I think we'll be jumping back to the port and we'll be picking maybe the next ship, I guess you say. Um, let's see, what do we... Let's open up the crate, it's probably a commander crate. Submarines revealed in October, Ugh. I, I think submarines are still heavily controversial and uh, controversial enough um, that they probably won't introduce them anytime soon. Can we open this container? Yeah. Kinkade. Can I do a thing with Kinkade? I don't think I'm bumped to full yet. No. Okay, so we're on Tiger. It wasn't too bad in Tiger. Just yeah, not the. I have liked playing Hood recently. Actually, Vanguard. Vanguard with a speed build. Let's give that, a, give that a spin. Oh, I think the results will come in. Let's have a look. Tiger. Not too bad. Agincourt. We saw that one through to the end, didn't we? Uh, Daring. We won. Oh, yeah, we saw that one through to the end. Ostergotland. We won. Okay. Leander. That was the first game in the stream, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah it's not too bad. 
Temeraire versus Prince of Wales. Who's a gonna who's gonna win with the turret mal mal malfunction? <laughs> well, this this is why I personally believe that all Russian battleships should have a 50-50 chance on whether the tur main battery turrets have been sufficiently maintained and uh, on the chance that they have not been efficiently maintained they do not traverse, they're just locked going forward <laughs> historical accuracy, that's what we need furthermore I think um, I think uh, yeah, Russian battleship, all Russian ships sh uh, should be susceptible uh, to a uh, ammunition malfunction <laughs> Mega Man, I hope not, Kriv. If they couldn't make submarines work on PC, I doubt they could make it work in Legends. And yeah, that's that's very much my concern on it all. Uh, my usual place to go left toward, uh, t not turn right. But in this instance, I'm thinking maybe a bit of a left turn might be better. Major, if the Russian ships also should be 50-50, if they uh, even move, yeah. That's <laughs> oh, is it their, their current uh, aircraft carrier, the Admiral Konetsov? Is it Konetsov? Uh, I, think, I think it is Konetsov. Um, it's caught fire again. Um, recently, um, but when it was actually posted to the uh, to the to the med, I guess you could say to um, to do actions uh, in um, Syria, it had to have its own personal tug the entire time, just in case. <laughs> oh. Uh, they made a new tech tree uh, for the aviation BBs as well, so I can't tell that Wargaming is planning at the moment. Mm. In some regards, I'm not too surprised. Instead of firing shells, Soviet guns uh, fire IOUs. <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I, 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 I know they could never do it in an actual, like, a, as an actual game, because it would almost be a bit of a, a killjoy. But I'd love to have like just the same way we have these like brawl modes and arena modes and ranked modes. Just once, I'd love this uh, like historical accuracy mode to come around, right? And have like realistic reload times. The commanders and modules on the ship have no impact. And my favourite bit would be um, uh, the amount of reloads you have for your weapon armaments and reflects the actual reloads. So it means if your ship wouldn't carry reloads of torpedoes, you don't get reloads of torpedoes. <laughs> it's a one and done situation. Oh, there's a brandy. I do would like to shoot the mains again though. Let's just chance it on the mains again. Also, aircraft. I'd love to see like aircraft carriers actually work in a historically accurate way, where they have to be travelling at full speed into the wind in order to release aircraft, and therefore at the start of the game there'd be like a random wind direction. I mean, at the end of the day, gate. Uh, well, sorry, at the end of the day, if a board game can have uh, that kind of mechanic with aircraft carriers, why can't we with a uh, with a computer game? Oh yes, we're going in. Oh, the mic, five, five. Sorry, doorbell guys. <laughs> oh, I can ring the house phone if you want. Not sure the major will be happy. <laughs> Don't encourage your traps. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's okay, major's wife. Hope you're well. I was hoping it uh, it might have been uh, the postcode lottery. God, can you imagine that. <laughs> See me on TV, still outside my house with my Hedgehog's Hood hoodie. I'll be like, well, I, I won't be doing YouTube anymore. <laughs> no, I probably still would. Like I said, it's, I'm not monetized, so I'm not necessarily tied to um, making videos. But also at the same time, it means I'm doing it for fun. 
Ships like Graf Zeppelin uh, with the modified catapult would not need wind direction for launch. Yes, but also the Graf Zeppelin should be restricted to launching one one set of aircraft the entire game. That would be it. That is, <laughs> if you're going to run with an air compressed to catapult, um, it's, yeah, it should only be able to launch nine aircraft and that would be it. Entire game done. No fight. Like You have to choose. Do you want to fight a cat? <laughs> Do you want to launch one squadron of torpedo aircraft? <laughs> Oh. Randy, more environment stuff would be nice. Weather, tides, ocean, current. Be interesting to see if we um, if we do get things like cy the cyclone and things like that. That would be nice. Right, I think I'm going to scout up this way in order to engage the carrier and then start heading down to the south of the map. Major, what planes? Scrap said we had no planes for you. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I had prototypes, <laughs> which were tested. Yeah, yeah. Gra Graf Zeppelin would have no aircraft. It'd be able to launch. It'd be able to always launch aircraft, regardless of whether it was into the wind. But it has no aircraft. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Zero. Just, just start in the game and go. Wait, zero squadrons? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Uh, I think Wargaming Hack did experiment with a um, kind of historical mode actually over on PC. Uh, oh yeah, those prototypes, they were great. They were biplanes. This is the thing, like, every, everyone takes, like, everyone goes, oh, the Royal Navy were using biplanes on their carriers. It's like, yeah, but Germany prototyped biplanes for their carrier. <laughs> We weren't the only crazy people who started the war with biplanes. <laughs> uh, nothing is exciting as postcode lottery, yeah. <laughs> oh, Griff, are you going for the 2040V or the 10, 1010V part of J Japan? And uh, maybe socket adapters would be nice as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, that that's an interesting point. I didn't really realise that there were different zones. We're, go we're going to Tokyo. I don't know which. We we'll have to we'll have to look into it. If if someone ha it cares to to research uh, what sockets we need <laughs> for Tokyo, feel free to comment in the chat. <laughs> uh, if you put tides into warships, uh, that would be funny. Halfway through a game, the tide goes out and everyone gets stuck. <laughs> We've been using if like um, at the start of the when you opened up the mini map, it had depth meters or a de like mapped depths. Oh. This is my own fault for uh, making the guns on the Vanguard stumpy because I wanted speed. Air voltage major, west of Japan is the same as us, 240 volts, only adapter needed. East of Japan needs to do a standard 1010 10 volts. Yeah, I think we must be going. Yeah, we'd be probably guess we're going eastern then. Yeah, that should just be it. Go on, kick it out. That's it, that's it. Yeah, we're crushing to a crossfire, but I think we can cope. I think we're going to eat a torpedo too. I can't remember what the destroyer was. Any chance we can get rid of the Bismarck now? That'd be nice.
Dominican Republic. Where are you? Yeah, that's what I was trying to angle in against. Took too long to put the Bismarck down. Oh well. What was the destroyer anyway? A Jutland, okay. It's about two 15k torpedoes. Uh, let's jump aboard with the Marlborough actually. That could be quite interesting. Um. Oh. Uh, why can't they be all have the same plugs? <laughs> That's not profitable. <laughs> so uh, I don't know when it happened, uh, but the trees move in the wind now. What? <laughs> oh, on the on the game. Okay, let's let's go find the tree. Might depend on the map, maybe. It does seem like the. No, you are right. There is very subtle movement on the trees. Welcome to World of Trees. Um, let's see, where's the tallest mountain? We should be able to get. Uh, is it over there or is it over here? I think it's over here. I think we should be able to get a nice close up on the tree. Here we go. Yeah, you're right. The trees actually move. Oh, look at that. You can't say you don't get exhilarating gameplay on uh, on Back to the Port. I mean, look at these trees. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's interesting. Right. <laughs> By interesting, I mean, as interesting as a tree in the wind is. But yeah, you're right. Hmm. You can kind of see why they uh, they didn't mention it in the patch notes, um, but yeah, they have shadow buffed trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, let's jump on board with the uh, what's left of the Kanetsov uh, while he engages the. Um... Oh, well, I was going to say while he engages the Jutland. Right, let's jump on board with the Marlborough. I might have to quickly take a restroom break, so I might just leave you with the Marlborough. Trees, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Q Attenborough impression. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, right, I'm going to be back shortly. Uh, I just need a quick restroom break. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, crib also on some airports and towns, cars driving around and planes sitting on the runway, ready for takeoff. I, yeah, I don't think we're going to be expecting that. We are flying into Narita Airport. 
Uh, did you not see the man hiding in the trees? He's called Russell. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen a Marlboro. It has kind of maybe tempted, sir. Let's steal Marlboro. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I mean, as exciting as trees get, um, that's that's rather interesting that they've buffed trees in World War II's Legends. Uh, that's very true. Yeah. I think the Brit I think the reason why the Brits get remembered for using biplanes is because we probably persisted to use them a lot longer than other nations. But also, I guess, because we actually had some success with using them, things like the Bismarck and. Um, it escapes me now. Oh, that's annoying. But the ra the raid on the Italian fleet and things like that. Uh, this matchmaking's pants. Oh, in game. Oh yeah, yeah. My favourite one with the cars in World of Warships Legends is the way that they stay horizontal even when they're going up a hill. <laughs> if you ever see it. So it looks like the cars is on like an invisible escalator. German Fritz X bomb when? Well, cause, yeah, considering they introduced uh, Lancasters with tall boys over on board of warships, I guess a Fritz X bomb. Yeah, that could be an interesting mechanic. Oh, you can almost see it because now, because especially when the uh, <laughs> water buff when aren't they? I think they've already buffed the water actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they they've buffed the water. They've buffed the trees. There's a lot of destroyers in this one, so I'm going to see who I can support. Hayate. Hayate. Yeah. Lots of Hayates. Mm. On Series X, the water is buffed now on every map except one. If I get my Frick's X bomb, I hunt the war spot historically accurate. <laughs> but you're not allowed to sink it, remember? You're only allowed to uh, destroy one of the turrets. You're only allowed to destroy X turret. Yeah, war spike took a hell of a beating during World War II towards the end. She was literally just held together with concrete. <laughs> I don't like this at all and there's nothing I can do about it. This is annoying. Come on engines, I need you to work. Please back up now. Say no to torpedoes. <laughs> Oh. I really need that Hayate to actually push in that cap and uh. 
I was going to say, you're over there, aren't you? Don't let the L-Wing, please. There's a gap. The Hornet had the squadron of B-25s on PC. Oh, damn it. That shouldn't have happened. Oh no. Oh, there's an elving in this smoke spring. And I don't think I have RD, uh, well, RGA in order to spot said elving. Slightly irritating. As I really would like to give the Albing 16 of the best. Right, let's give it to the Yoshino then. Hayate, please use torpedoes or, or something. Okay, okay. I like where like the damage con is like read use me <laughs> I'm like no <laughs> No stop it go away I don't want to use my damage con Oh no I'm kinda of glad I didn't use my damage con National World War One ship stays after life two for its ex-bombs while one solo Italian BB goes boom like a Chinese fire. Oof. Yeah, it, it really... I guess it depends on the reaction speed of the crew in regards to damage control, but also where the hit happens. I think with the... with the Was it... With the Italian battleship, I think it definitely was a magazine hit. Nasty. Never ending fog is now. The fog has been nerfed on the Xbox X, I see. Ah, fair enough. I didn't mind that game too much. Um, but yeah, I'm noticing that the player base is definitely dropping off at the higher tiers. So let's play something uh, probably tier 5 ish. Um, just try and get things going. Let's, let's do Icarus. Yeah, we we'll do the Icarus. Clash of Mushroom Rice. Aquila or Imperial Crib. We can also bring Graf Zeppelin's sister ship, the Peter Strauss, over the bombers and threat set. Imagine the Kansas World War One would be untouched after those bombs. 
Let's get that launched. Then again, I wonder if maybe Warspike... Did Warspike have the um, electronical jamming installed when she got hit by the threats? That's an interesting question. Because I know that due to the Fritz X, that's where you got a lot of electronical jamming, equi uh, basically equipment fitted to the Royal Navy ships. But whether the Fritz X uh, <sighs> munition was, uh, whether it was aware of, I guess you say, at the time, it's hard to say. I am not charging into Bravo, that is a quick way to die to an enemy carrier. What's the enemy carrier? It's a Furious, that's, uh, that's quite dangerous, high explosive bombs there. Conic, Congo, Dallas, Nuremberg, Dick, Diosta, Emerald, T61, Gnevi. Let's turn the AA off. Let's go do our job. Yeah, probably got time for this one and one more, probably. And then I'll let you all go on your way, I guess you're saying. Now I'll start winding down for the evening. I might, might treat myself to one glass of sake before I go to bed. There we go. Tuck in there. Turn it in the ground. What are we in? A Duke of Diaster. Located, there's the aircraft. I think we because it's torpedo aircraft and we're close to our friendly cruiser, we'll just go AA on because I, one thing I kind of forgot with the Icarus is the AA range is so pitiful. Um, and actually, it's not necessarily the end of the world if your AA guns turn on because you're already been spotted because all you've got is very limited machine guns and 20mm guns. Oh, but being spotted and hit by a volley of sap from the uh, Duca de Osta isn't a uh, nice situation to suddenly find yourself in, unfortunately. Nice, 4,000 of my HP just, or 4,800 just stripped off. Dallas, Duke of Diosta around here as well. Can there be? Can there be with horrendous detectability? And only about 10,000 HP. There's the sap from the Duke of Diosta. Miss. There's too many crew. There's a lot of cruisers here.
are a mad man. Turn us around, try maybe close. It's very risky to close in on the Ganevi. Okay, with the Duke of Diosta gone, that makes things a bit more likely. And there goes the Krasny Kram. Baz, hello, hello, hello. New carrier T soon on the government. <laughs> This but yeah, with a carrier there. Might finally be able to get this cap out. <laughs> oh, damn, this is going to be close. I'm very dead. Is hoping that um, I led some of those torpedoes ahead of enough. Please, no, maybe some. Should have led them even more. Oh well. You're alone on the bank. Better, better turn around. <laughs> uh, too late for that. Uh, how goes the potato? <laughs> My two weeks holiday is ending today. Tomorrow I'm back to work. Did nothing interesting. We are snowed in for most of the time. You still got snow up north, Griff. I guess I'm not too necessarily surprised. Just considering how far up north you live. So, <laughs> that sounds like a good holiday to me. <laughs> oh, snow. I don't know, there's only so much you can do when you're snowed in. Um, let's do the Queen. Yeah, let's take the Queen out. One last game, and then we'll wrap it up. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely sh showing some rust. Is domination tier probably five and six most likely. Let's have a look. Five and four. No, it's five and four with the downscaled map. I'm not necessarily too sure exactly which way to go. I'll do a bit of right rudder, just in case the turbine decides to go for the alpha objective. Minus 8 degrees for 10 days, 1 to 2 feet of snow. 
Every major road was closed around us due to accidents for multiple days and the course since yesterday it's plus 8 degrees centigrade and no more snow. I think that's called Sod's Law. Yeah. It's a bit nippy down south but we've only had like minus 4, uh, minus 3 and uh, no snow to report. It's just been, yeah, it's just been a bit chilly. But it's going to warm up this week I hear. We can expect uh, highs of like 8 degrees, I think, or something like that. Mexico. Grindelwald. Yeah, I am going to try and overtake the uh, New York on the outside, I think. Their battleships seem to be coming over to this flank. Stuart, hello, hello, hello. Well, we definitely washed the New York. Oh, enemy destroyer spotted. Can't see Harrow. Smoke, is he? Just as I was changing positions. Yeah, nice. Texas is the one that you probably want to try and get rid of first because he's got us in a crossfire. Axe of Arcura, you hit the middle of a circle. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm. 
the Ark Royal kind of benefits from a number of bombs. Just due to the severe quantity, they're, they're always going to get a hit. the dangerous Texas. ships on low HP, just to finish one or two of them off would be vastly beneficial. The question for me is the Ark Royal a tier 5 has more bombs than a tier 7 bigger carrier black or exactly. Yeah, Ark Royal definitely does need some benefit. Uh, I'm going to leave that. Definitely needs some balance. Actually, I'm going to see what happens to the torpedoes. Nice, okay. I suspect the enemy carrier is going to come for me. And Plackle needs more bombs. Potentially. H was furious. I wanted uh, with an A. Furious, furious, furious. Yeah, it must be furious. Yeah, furious. I wanted with her uh, with Angwood's deck. Uh, that wouldn't have been a post-war modification. If anything, right. Well, I guess I'm backing around now. <sighs> Vaz only say just choose independence over black unless they got both, which uh, makes you sick. Yeah.
but well, there's not much we can do at the moment apart from slowly chase down the Queen Elizabeth and maybe hope the enemy carry a targets us because we have got a full AA build on the Queen Elizabeth, which is actually quite good. DJ, hello, hello, hello. Yes, Burris, uh, getting an uh, angled deck post war, but hey, 1959 Tiger exists in warships too. Yeah, we yet to get the proper Tiger though, aren't we? Speaking of summer guard, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love to do a match with like a Hood Repulse Renowned Division and have the, uh, the Battle Cruiser Squadron. Okay, no, it really is just there. So let's just shoot our gun. Uh, let's get the planes to come towards us. Come on. I did an AA Devonshire in the game earlier today, and the enemy carrier was a Ark Royal. I shot down 29 aircraft, which is quite nice. Got to clear the skies in under five minutes. Oh, avoid the rush. Uh, avoid Rochester. 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 Rochester uh, that one. Avoid the American one. <laughs> not because I'm anti-American, but because it's not that great a ship, as far as I could, I've seen gun the stats. Um, so yeah, Plymouth would definitely be the the better choice. Uh, first thing happens to the battle cruiser division. Hood sinks in two minutes. Well, also the battle cruiser squadron was also broken up, wasn't it? Like to see like the, the battle cruiser squadron do a, a game in it would be amusing, but also to then see it maybe do what it was supposed to do, which was generally to engage Japanese cruisers. Uh, which is the youngest ship at the moment? Tiger 59, Connector 55, uh, the French ship, or maybe the Colbert 66. Colbert, I mean, I think Colbert is the youngest. Uh, no, at all. I just couldn't find the right emoji, maybe. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Oh, nearly onto a crack in there, Turn Oh, very nice, very nice. Well, a bit, a bit of a pleasure cruise as an end game, but um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Well, that's, um, I know this, like, didn't stream this Friday and we've had like a bit of a, bit of a quiet Sunday live stream, uh, but we've hit the, the two hours, I guess you could say. Uh, the, yeah. Um, it's a very quiet patch and there's not exactly much going on um, uh, in some regards I, I almost ha am taking this patch out because it's two weeks of not lot, not a lot going on um, nothing really new happening um, nothing really new of much interest I guess you could say the Italian destroyer uh, the French destroyers have got an extra I mean, uh, main battery reload booster uh, slightly improved main battery and slightly worse torpedoes uh, the Italian cruisers have uh, got a sap module which uh, it gives them sap, but also increases the reload time. Um, and there's a premium ship added to the game, which is generally um, forgettable. Um, it's basically a Baltimore with smoke. Uh, and terrible detectability when firing smoke. The smoke is useless. Um, and uh, you have to sacrifice a repair party to have smoke. Um, yeah, so... It's it's generally very forgettable. We haven't had anything added to the bureau. The campaign is a two-week campaign. There's not really anything to comment on. It is a two-week campaign. What what can you say? Um, there's there's rewards, but they're nothing super. Um, and there's brawl, um, which uh, it, it's not for everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that. It's not for everyone. But you know, some people are gonna like it. So fair enough. Um, uh, personally, I I could I I. I could live without it. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's almost like a summary of this patch, I guess you could say, as well. Uh, <laughs> FIBA 2007. <laughs> uh, major players only picked up uh, Rochester because they don't have Baltimore and they use the ship with the heel and no smoke. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Shan seems very strong. So yeah, I've seen a lot of good Shan games going on. How's the stream going? It, it went all right, I guess you could say. Uh, nothing, nothing special. Um, I'm definitely 
I think uh, me taking a week off definitely showed this uh, this stream, and uh, I think I'll have to start putting a bit more practice in. Um, yeah, I was definitely very rusty this stream. But yeah, mate, much obliged everyone for popping by, and I know it's Sunday, so it's a bit quieter, but uh, many thanks. If you want to give it a thumbs up, I'd be much obliged, and uh, I'll catch you, fingers crossed, on Friday, um, unless something else crops up and I end up doing a weekend stream like I did this week. But um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be uh, Friday, so look out yourself, stay safe, stay well and until next time I'm the Gareth Major and back to the court Pip Pip and Cheerio <laughs>